With stress, something as simple as a bad night of sleep, which I know very well with little kids, if someone sleeps poorly one night, they will have demonstrable, detectable insulin resistance the next day. That is something that can be quantified in a lab, and it is entirely a result of the elevated cortisol because of the bad sleep. Now, thankfully, that very kind of rapid onset insulin resistance can be corrected by just one good night of sleep. But you can imagine all of these variables coming into play in the average person, where the average individual has terrible sleep habits, they have terrible dietary habits where they're eating refined starches and sugars every two or three hours, so their insulin's elevated all the time, and they may or may not be exposing themselves to foods or chemicals that are aggravating their immune system and thus increasing inflammatory proteins. And to top it all off, in addition to those primary causes, they're eating their carbs from bags and boxes with barcodes, which means that the fats in them will always be seed oil. <laughs>